Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome to The Walk, a psycho anal list game. I'm learning to read. Are you proud of me, Mama? <laughs> I really dig the uh, music in the falling leaves. Let us start. Um, I don't need no introduction. Shall we begin? Yes, let's do it, Magic Leaf. I am the Magic Leaf, and I will tell you things. Sell all you own and give it to me. You'll be happy without worldly pleasures. Um, what would you like to call myself? Um, I like to call myself successful. So much for that happening. Oh, oh I'm sad. <laughs> oh, the joys of life. Um, I think I should go with, uh, I want a nice name. Sweet Assy Brown. All right. Hello, sweet assy brown. Oh, that sounds like I have a poop butt. Ew. Okay, I wish I hadn't cut thought of that name, but whatever. Hello, sweet assy brown. Nice to meet you. Oh, they're glad to meet me. Am I male or female? Let me check a second. Oh, that looks like a penis. You're like, how do you not know? Shut up. I'm a male. Well, sweet assy brown, let's take a walk through your imagination. Don't you leave any footprints on my brain. You prefer to take your walk during the daytime or the nighttime? I prefer night walks because it's quiet and nobody can see me. I don't have to wear pants. All right, let's take a walk at night, sweet acid brown. By the way, sweet acid brown, what a nice ass you have. And what season of the year are you taking your walk? Well, I am from the great state of Michigan, and in Michigan there is no more beautiful state, or more beautiful state than Michigan. Apparently. We don't have an education system in my state. <laughs> There's no more beautiful time of year than autumn. Leaves change, you know. There's the smell of decay in the air. It's delightful. Uh, autumn is a lovely time of the year. You're a lovely time of the year, game. You're lovely. And what's the weather like? Well, here it's um, overcast skies. Due to Lake Michigan, we get tons of overcast skies. We don't see the sun for like six months at a time. And when it comes out, I'm like, oh my god, there's a giant fireball in the sky should I worship it and then at church they're like probably not I see so you're out walking at night in the overcast autumn weather I hope you're dressed for it sweet assy brown uh, what are you wearing oh I am wearing leather do, do I put that here leather chaps and um Titty tassels and a chop hatch and mon monocle. You can feel free to draw that if you want. Oh, please don't draw it on me. Leather chaps, titty tassels, and a top hat and monocle to stay classy. Uh, where were you walking today? Hopefully, not the local school. Um, oh, I would love to walk in the countryside, but sweet assy brown is in the countryside, man, bitch. He's in the city. In the city! Hopefully I don't get mugged. I see, so you're walking, uh, you're taking a walk at night in the city. Yeah, I do. I know I kind of, I'm kind of stupid like that. Uh, to get a really good idea of the surroundings, why don't you describe it for me, sweet assy brown? Well, it's all, like, kick-ass. I don't know how to spell. It smells of car exhaust and I see a skunk, not a skink, a skunk, and some rabid raccoons who mama said I can't pet anymore. I love you, game. <laughs> By the way, what sort of path are you walking on, sweet assy brown? Is it clearly visible? Of course, I live in the city and it's autumn. It's not winter. Yeah, I can see where I'm walking. Is the path you're on wild or, or wide or narrow? Apparently, I don't know any words. I don't know. It's a regular sidewalk size. We'll go wide. Is it well traveled? Yeah, I'm in the motherfucking city. Um, it looks well maintained. Um, no, it, it looks totally abandoned. I'm like in the shitty urban decay side of town where I live. Is there a clear way or are there obstructions in your way? It's clear. I mean, I step over some trash and refuse, but that's not too bad. A little bit of poop, but that was mostly because I didn't make it to the bathroom in time. I thought the sidewalk was an acceptable, sweet-assy brown place. 
Are there any other paths? Um, I can see some. Can you describe it to me? Um, over to the left is a path that leads to a dead end. At the end of the dead end is an old man in an overcoat. He yells to me, wanna see my balls. <laughs> You see any people around? Yeah, the old man. Yes. Um, a few. Not a lot late at night. How close are they? Um, mm, close enough where I can see their faces. Uh, what are they doing? Um, some are selling their bodies on the street corner to get candy money. Well... I don't know. I assume it's for candy, cause mummy tells me that they love to suck. <laughs> you've walked quite a bit, sweet assy brown. In fact, you've come to an empty lot. No one is there but you. Oh, it's me! It's me! What's this empty lot look like? Well, you know, it's a, it's an abandoned lot. Bit of dirt and gravel. It it used to be uh it used to be um a parking lot for a now long abandoned um factory. Uh, sprinkled here and there. Um, our mm, heroin. Oh no. Used heroin needles. Oh, you can stand around and spell anything. And uh, used condoms. That's actually kind of like where, where I grew up as a kid. There was a lot that, uh, that that's, when I grew up, when I grew up, it's just now I'm a man! I'm a man! <laughs> no, when I was a kid, uh, at, at the end of our lot, uh, the block that we lived on, there were like these empty dirt lots that used to be for the factory that was next um, next door because I live in the Rust Belt and as a kid you go over there and uh, you, you'd play in the lots it was fun you know and but sometimes you'd find used heroin needles or you'd find used condoms my mom would be like don't play with those no yeah mom yeah mom I'm gonna play with a used condom even at eight years old I'm not like oh that looks like fun oh, I'm having issues right now <laughs> what's going on <laughs> there we go on the right, on the ground, is a box. Ooh. What is it made out of? Um, silver or gold? Brass or copper? Ceramic? Cardboard or paper? Um, cardboard or paper? Uh, what's it look like? It's torn and soggy. Maybe from the rain. Maybe from hobo pee. Or cat pee, or dog pee, or whim pee. <laughs> A very interesting sweet assy, Brown. I know. Can you open the box? Of course I can. I have strong assy arms. What's in the box? Mm. I would say it's delicious cat poo. Well, that's cool. I don't know if it's cool. The cat, you know, found it. Probably thought it was a litter box and pooped in there, but... If you think that's cool. What are you going to do with what you found? Well, I'm not going to eat it. I can take it with me. I'm taking my cat poo with me. <laughs> Would you be willing to show it to someone? Uh, yeah, okay. I want to show it to the old man. I want to show it to the hookers. Maybe then they will share the candy with me. Well, now, shall we continue on our walk, sweet assy brown? I would love to. I would love to. Continuing beyond the empty lot, uh, the ground abruptly slopes downward. I'm sliding, putting you at the top of a hill. In the distance, you can see a big building. Uh, what's it look like? It's a broken, not a borkin, it's a borkin down factory. 
Borkin? It sounds like it's uh, Scandinavian. Uh, what would that be? Uh, Scandinavians once built rocket sleds here. But the business um, moved to China. Now it's just, it's just, you know, broken windows and broken dreams. When you reach the bottom of the slope, you find that you're at a four-way crossroads. Which way will you choose to go, sweet assy brown? I don't want to go backwards. I don't go to the right. Let's go right. Oh, look, right there in the middle of the path is an animal. Is it a natural animal, a fantasy creature, or a toy animal? It'll be a natural animal. It's going to be um, a wild animal. It's a feral... Oh, it's going to be one of the rabid raccoons. Rabid raccoon! What is the wild animal doing? Um, he doesn't notice me. I should have done a skunk. I remember walking up on a skunk once in the middle of the night. He lifted his tail at me. We were both surprised. Um, it's attacking me! How will you get past it? Um, I want it to come with me. That's sexual. I will ignore it. Um, I don't want to fight it or kill it. I'm going to run like hell like a real man. Let's continue onward, shall we? Don't hurt me, rabbit doggy! After quite a bit of a walk, you see a hill at the very top of a house. Oh, no, wait, there's a hill, and on top of it is a house. Yeah, it would be weird to put a hill on a house. That doesn't make sense. You'd have a house on a hill. You're right, game. I'm wrong. What kind of house is it? It's, um... How about a broken-down historical mansion? Or, no, an apartment building. How can you describe it? It's crack... part -ment. Here, everyone is on an... Unemployed. Some sell drugs. Some sell hugs. Some eat bugs. Um. Chugs. Dick is in LP. There's a fence around. How far does it extend? Um, I don't know. Four miles. Do you want to take a look inside, sweet assy brown? Ew, I don't want to take a look inside myself. Nobody should be taking a look inside, sweet assy brown. Now let's go inside the crack apartments. How will you get inside? How about the motherfucking door? I'm going through the... Oh, let's break in through a window. And that's the moment when you see sweet assy brown. is isn't quite the nice sweet ass you thought. Um, smash, glass sound. What's the interior look like? It's burned out. Someone must have dropped a lit cigarette here years ago and it smells of delicious cat pee piss is there a particular room you'd like to see yes um let's go to the bedroom that's where all the oh no let's go to the attic well what's the room look like it's um you know it's old it's musty it's full of, mm, you know, what, what's, what, what do you find in an attic? Uh, cobwebs, old stinky clothes, a chain, uh, chained up midget. Okay, that's enough, ex doesn't your attic have that? That's enough exploration for the moment, sweet assy brown, especially since we have other things to see. In the kitchen, you find the back door to take you outside. After you exit, does the door lock behind you? No. Let's continue on our way, shall we? Sweet Assy Brown just broke into a place. <laughs> After a bit more walking, you see something else in the middle of the path. A cup. What's it made out of? Oh, it's gotta be styrofoam. Is there styrofoam? No. Oh, there we go. Paper styrofoam. Um, it looks like... Looks like a used coffee cup. You know, the styrofoam kind. Someone took a bite out of the lip. What will you do with it? Um, I'm going to take it with me. I need this. It's like a styrofoam cup to me. You continue on a bit further and spot something else in the middle of the path. It's a weapon. What kind of weapon is it? Holy shit, there's a lot of stuff to choose. 
A sniper rifle? A semi-automatic or machine... A rocket or missile launcher? A flamethrower? Uh, I want the flamethrower. It's a... It's a effing flamethrower. What do you think it looks like? It's made out of effing awesomeness. What will you do with it? Burn everyone! We're taking it with us. Yeah, you know that works. You fear me now, don't you, game? Okay, after a bit more walking down the path. Oh my, there's a body of water sitting right across your path. What kind is it? I know, it's just a puddle. I'm in the middle of the city. You're not gonna have a pond in the middle of the sidewalk. How deep is it? I don't know, it's shallow. How fast is the water moving? Not at all. It's perfectly still, like me. Describe the water? Well, it's festering and putrid. Looks delish. How you cross the puddle of the shallow? <laughs> I would like to imagine, I would like to imagine that Sweet Assy Brown is walking down the street. You know, just like like all these other people are walking next to Sweet Assy Brown, and they walk past the puddle. And then Sweet Assy Brown sees the puddle and just stops abruptly. He's like, no! How will I cross shallow small puddle? I'm going to step over it. Well, now that you've crossed the puddle and rejoined your path, sweet Assy Brown, let's continue on. After a bit more walking, you see something else in the middle of your path. It's a key. A donkey? What's this key look like? It's, um, it's a skeleton key. What's the key unlock? Skeletons. Um, a hidden door? Yeah, a hidden door. I'm going to Narnia. What will you do with the key? Um, I'm going to take it with me, too. I think Sweet Assy Brown's kind of a junk collector. Alright, then let's continue onward to the final bit of our walk. After a rather long and tiring stretch of walking, you see something else crossing your path. It's a wall that stretches from horizon to horizon. What? Is it the Great Wall of China? What's it look like? Um, a wall. Can you see what's on the other side? No, I can't. Can you cross the wall? Yes, and I'd like to try. Well done, you've completed the journey. I climbed over the wall and on the other side? Uh, now would be an excellent time to save. Alright. I'm saving and I left it in the thing. Alright. Now then, are you ready to see what all this is supposed to mean? Yes! Finally, the mysteries of my psycho... Uh, anal... Uh, my anal side, sweet assy brown, will be revealed. The name and gender you chose signifies how truthful you are in answering the questions on the test. You chose Sweet Assy Brown in male. Oh, I lied about the name. The choice of day or night signifies an introverted or extroverted personality. That's true. I chose night because I am introverted when I'm by myself and I'm not performing. Nighttime signifies that you're introverted by nature and prefer privacy. Stop watching this video now! Why can't I be left alone? You enjoy your own company. Oh, I like to have parties by myself. Stop touching me a little more. And enjoy quiet, solitary pastimes. This does not mean that you don't like the company of other people. Wrong. Sweet Assy Brown hates everyone and wants them to die in fire. Fire from a flamethrower. You merely, um, are extremely selective in your choice of companions. The season you chose represents your level of mat maturity. You chose Autumn. Does that mean I'm about to die? If I picked winter, would they be like, you're dead already? Autumn signifies an adult and determined outlook that looks forward to prosperity after hard work, perhaps to the point that the focus on doing a good job becomes all-consuming. How about doing a good hand job? The weather you selected represent represents your emotional state. No, I chose overcast because I live in Michigan, and because of Lake Michigan, we always have overcast. Overcast skies indicate a mild bout of depression. Let's lie! It's serious! It's a serious bout of depression! <laughs> uh, how do you choose to dress? How you chose to dress signifies how you want others to see you. The location you selected to take a stroll through signifies the part of your core personality that you like the best. Also, how far away from this location is... Uh, how far away this location is from where you actually live indicates how strongly you want to change your current life. You chose in the city. Um, so my favorite... Wait. My favorite part of my personality is being in the city? Choosing to walk through the city indicates that you are social and friendly and 
are also very difficult to fool or lie to. I wish that was true. The type of path and road you walked was easy to see and wide, and it was totally abandoned with lots of trash. This signifies how difficult you feel your life currently is. The more rocks, weeds, and garbage you have to get around, the more you feel that things are getting in the way of reaching your goals. You saw a few people close enough to see their faces. This signifies how comfortable you are around the people you don't know. What's it signify that the people I put in the game were um, like a creepy dude and prostitutes? I think it means I'm a well-balanced individual. Your description of the empty lot indicates how you feel about being alone. Oh, no. It wasn't the empty lot. I said use condoms and heroin needles. <laughs> I was just telling the story from my childhood, and now it's like, this is how you feel about being alone. Oh, so depressing. The box signifies your attitude towards certain secrets and memories. What the box is made of indicates how precious your secrets and memories are to you and how well you protect them. Your box was made out of cardboard or paper. That indicates that the memory or secret within is not important. Well, it was cat poop inside. Unlikely to fall apart upon exposure. I always had that. You know, uh, when I have a secret, I'm like, Yup, when I was two, I peed myself. And then someone's like, really? No! I made it up so you'd think I was cool! Oh. You were able to open the box. That you can open the box means that you remain in touch with even your oldest memories and deepest secrets. Butt deep. Balls deep. Uh, what the box contained indicates the type of memories and secrets you feel you need to protect from casual exposure. All of them. What you did with the box indicates how willing you are to leave your memories and secrets exposed where others can find them. The secret of my cat poop. You took it with you. I know. This signifies that you're not willing to let just anyone know this particular secret. Just everyone on the interwebs. But you don't want to leave it behind and forget it either. I'll never quit you, cat poo. Never. Your willingness to show the contents of someone indicates that they are someone you trust deeply. I showed it to prostitutes. For the record, I don't hang out with prostitutes. I don't go, hey, prostitute, want to hear my secrets? The prostitute's like, I have a name. And it's not prostitute. I'm a little kid. I'm like, you shouldn't be a prostitute. And the kid's like, I'm not. Go away, old man. Just make sure they deserve that level of trust. The big building in the distance stands for the size and strength of your ambitions toward what you seek it to gain in the future. Was that the one that we made the shitty apartment building? Because does that mean my goals are big but crappy? <laughs> At the crossroads, you chose to go right. This indicates that you don't like the way your life has been going and want to make some positive changes. The animal is symbolic of the compulsive and instinctive instinctive side of your nature. The part that doesn't respond to reason. Well, I think a rabid dog might not respond to reason, so we ended up kind of working out there. It also can uh, indicate a current problem in your life, like a wild animal. You saw a wild animal on your path. Seeing a wild animal signifies that you are strongly independent and easy, enjoy working alone. However, you do not easily forgive those who hurt you or those who you care for. I never forgive those I care for. Damn you for making me care about you, you fuckface! That the wild animal attacked you signifies that you, are, that you are ignoring something vitally important. It's true, there's a dog in here. And I've not been- oh! That was a real dog noise. I didn't make that noise myself. That you ran away from it signifies that you're a man! Not that you ran away from your problems. Uh, that that you fear your instinctive nature and don't want to hear what it wants to tell you. It's like, you're a pussy man! Shut up! I'm sweet assy brown! No one talks to me that way! Because there are far too many animals to list. If you're interested in the meaning and significance behind them, oh, you can go there and check out your spirit animals. There's rabbit dog one. It's, ooh, I'm gonna give myself a seizure. They have a nice long list and detailed list of the animals and their spiritual meanings. Uh, the cow's spiritual meaning is deliciousness. The house you saw represents your emotional and physical constitution. Oh, this is a crack house. Oh. So wait, emotionally and physically I'm a crack house. Wow. Your base characteristics and health. Uh, the condition of the house is a direct reflection of the condition of your mind. You chose an apartment building. Uh, the type of fence or wall around it indicates how willing you are to open yourself to those around you. Like how? Like open my butt cheeks? Cut myself open? Who wants a spleen? Oh, I was using that. That you decided to go inside indicates your willingness to examine your own innards. Oh, your own motives and personal issues. 
How you entered the house reflects how you chose to face the truth of who you are and the decisions you made. You entered through a window. If eyes are the window to the cell, does that mean I cut my eyes out or went through my eyes? I don't, I don't know. Entering in such an indirect manner indicates you'd rather not look directly at myself. No, I'm hideous! Oh, sweet assy, oh, sweet assy brown, I'm delightful. How the, how the interior is decorated and arranged indicates your current mindset. Oh, I said it had dog pee or something in it. Ah, what the fuck, game? I'm loving this, but I just said I have dog pee brain. Each room stands for different emotional functions. The room you chose um, is the one you prioritize the most. You went up to the attic. The attic is where the oldest memories are kept and often concealed. One will often see old toys there. So I can have my old Legos back? That would be sweet. When you left, the door did not lock behind you. This indicates that you're interested in going back to see what's going on inside your subconscious mind. The cup is a representation of love and how you express it. Aw, oh, great, because my cup was an old, used, dirty coffee cup that someone had bit in a chunk. Oh, actually, that kind of does explain my love history. The cup you found was made out of piper. Piper? Piper parabo? Paper or styrofoam? This indicates that love is little to no importance. is easily thrown away. No, don't throw me away! Don't throw me away, Daddy! Likely because your heart was crushed and thrown away at least once. Then I give it to someone else and they did it again. I'm not jaded. You took it with you. I'm okay. I'll just take me and my broken heart. I don't need love. Oh, do I? This indicates that you are pleased with the type of relationships that come with this type of form of love. No! 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 Sweet Essie Brown! No! No! Excuse me? No! Sweet Essie Brown is not okay with having Sweet Essie Brown's heart torn up, crunched up, and thrown away, and been like, okay, I can deal with that. Let's do this again. No! No more dysfunctional relationships, Sweet Essie Brown. You get your groove back. Uh, the weapon is a representation of anger and how you express it. The weapon you found was the flamethrower. Burn it! Burn it down! Fire! Fire! This indicates that your temper burns well below the surface, but you never really go but it never really goes out, and you release your anger with widespread destruction of everything around you. Any of the people who know me very well do not listen to that part of the LP or confirm that. <laughs> you took it with you. This indicates that you are pleased with your temperament and style of aggression. Yep, I have no problem with napalming everyone when I'm mad. You didn't get me a Big Mac? I wanted a Big Mac, not a quarter pounder. I'm going to destroy you. Water represents your subconscious, emotions, and desires. Uh, the deeper and faster the water, the stronger and more chaotic and uncontrollable those emotions are. So if I picked a still puddle, does that mean I have no emotions? You have all the emotional intensity of a leaf. Leave me alone. Classically, this also indicates the kind of sexual relationships you prefer. I do not like to have sex with puddles. I did not have sexual relations with that puddle. You saw that a puddle was uh, shallow and it was perfectly still. The puddle indicates that your range of emotions is extremely limited. Sweet Assy Brown has all of the emotions. Anger, more anger, super anger, very ranged. It may occasionally be in danger of drying up completely. That the puddle was shallow indicates that your emotions run right on the surface and easily visible. They are not! You do not know what I'm feeling! You don't know what Sweet Assy Brown is feeling! The puddle perfectly still. This indicates that your passions are hidden deep. Uh, how you cross the level indicates your level of emotional connection and how you tend to break off emotional connections. Crossing the water by stepping over it indicates that you rarely come in contact with your emotions except by accident. I accidentally bumped into him once. Oh, it's emotions! Run away! They were like, who are you? And I'm like, fuck you! Uh, they can also indicate that you find emotional connections inconvenient. The key represents personal knowledge. What the key is made out of indicates how important this is to you. What's the key made out of? What it unlocks indicates your talent or area of expertise. Uh, what did it unlock? Your key unlocks a hidden door. This indicates that you have a hidden talent that you yourself may not be aware of. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is Sweet Assy's Brown hidden talent? I don't know. Hopefully it's being an astronaut. I don't know if that's a talent, but it should be. I want to go to Mars. You took it with you. This indicates that you're quite pleased with this particular talent that you don't know about because it's hidden. The wall represents how you view death. 
Unfortunately, you couldn't see what was on the other side. Your ability to cross the wall, and your desire to actually do so, indicates that you've occasionally entertained thoughts of suicide. You might want to talk to a professional about that. Oh, I just wanted to see what was on the other side of, of the wall in the game. And we're done, bitch! Uh, oh, I should save it again? Alright. Well, then I hope you enjoyed my little test, and I enjoyed making it. The end. That was really fun. That is really, really kind of cool. It would be interesting to see what the other, other ones are. If you would like to play this yourself, I will put a link in the description. I've done some of, um... Morgan, I believe it's Morgan Hawk. I apologize. Yeah, Morgan Hawk right there. Some of her other games, like, um... Oh, what is it? Trapped. Trapped. If you look up Trapped... That one was really fun. I've done some others. I, I enjoy hers. This was really fun. We learned a lot about Sweet Assy Brown today. Sweet Assy Brown has a very complicated emotional stuff, but it was a cool adventure. So, um... Cat pee. <laughs> That's what I'm going out on. PPP. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I had a great time, and um, I'll see you in the next Let's Play.